I'm Sipcha Gautam and I'm a volunteer from Inabo Nepal, which is a Nepal chapter of the Devil Movement. It's a non-governmental social organization with the government of Nepal and Social Welfare Council of Nepal. The organization is made up of educators, journalists, medical professionals, philanthropists, government ex servicemen, and government workers who want to give something back to the people and society of Nepal, who was established in May 2018. Inabo Nepal is committed to serve the children with disability, especially those who have lost hands by various reasons or by birth by providing three different prosthetic hands, which will, we will believe will help the children to ease their daily life along with the access to the health education and skill development trainings. I would also uh, like to give short introduction of our board of directors who initiated the Inabu movement in Nepal. And I'm Chakur Rai, the chairman of our organization. I'm the Rai Skokum, the vice chairman. Swim is Rester, general secretary. Vinay Rai Kondari, secretary. Tony is Rester, treasurer. Vinod Gangi, Amut Rester, and Sudhaka Suras Rester, the member of our organization. Initially, Enable Nepal was supported by Enable Alliance and Enable Canada for setting up the lab. Peter Byron and Mrs. Rester from Enable Canada conducted training on 3D printing. Phoenix version to hand and the unlimited arm for Nepali volunteers. At the result during the picture is our first recipient, Kusi Sersta, sitting with her father, with Peter Byron, Mrs. Sersta, and volunteers of Inigo Nepal. Our mission is to provide services and supports to foster independence and improve the quality of life for different type of children. And our goal is to produce and provide 3D printed prosthetics hand to children with upper limb deficiency for free of cost with the help of national and international organizations. Regarding our progress, we have distributed 55 hands till now. We are also conducting research on the topics, outcome of 3D printed functional processes for children with upper limb deficiency in Nepal. We are also doing research on fabrication and development of low-cost wearable binding arm using EMG sensors. Today, I will talk briefly about how we made hands in Enable Nepal. Till now, in Enable Nepal, we are distributing two types of devices, Phoenix version 2 and unlimited arm version 2.1. Phoenix version 2 is wrist powered device, which usually requires a functional wrist and enough palm to put against the device. For those who do not have enough wrist, this person is an elbow activated arm device that is unlimited arm version 2.1. Uh, due to the time constraint, I will just present a brief explanation of how we made the hand. Uh, this is the overall process of making the hand, which includes finding recipients, taking measurements, customizing sizing, open scan, generating STL files, generating G-code files, 3D printing, assembling, and finally distributing the hands. To find the recipient, initially in Nepal, Nepal spread the news about availability of 3D printed prosthetic hands in Nepal through social media like Facebook and Twitter. In around 35 recipients and the parents immediately responded to the news and they sent their petition to receive the 3D printed hands to Nepal. Nepal. In the next step, we extended the news through personal contact, social uh, communities, schools, and the national television channels. Now more recipients are in contact and filing their records in our database. For the process, we can simply start by going to the Enabling the Future website and get involved by choosing a hand option. Uh, there is a step-by-step -step instruction. We can choose Enable Device Catalog, which will open up Enable Hub platform. Then we can select the hand design and arm design of Phoenix version 2 and Phoenix Unlimited arm design by the team Unlimited. After choosing the hand, we will get the files and resources, clicking on the STL file link, which will open up Thingiverse website where we can download the CAD file and customize the STL files. Here are the some pictures of volunteers setting measurement of hands. Some more pictures. Uh, we, we, this is the sample of measurement form we are using in Enable Nepal. Uh, we collect some basic data. We all need to measure the bicep of uh, measurement of bicep circumference of affected hand. We also need a forearm, wrist, and hand length of normal hand to put data in. Uh, 
CAD software. However, we fill all the parameters in the form to ensure the easy fit if necessary later. Um, we use the open SCAD for the customization, which you can find in the Thingiverse website, which you can download from the Thingiverse. In open SCAD, we customize the size of the hand of specific recipient. Uh, we in input the data in this customizer parameter. We generate the and generate and save the STL files of each part of the hand. Like uh, we generate the STL files individually, of, uh, different parts like cough, cheek, palm, finger, phalanx, etc. These are the different parts of the hands, which are printed individually, uh, you know, which uh, for which we create the STL file individually. The STL files of palm, finger, and this part is then converted to G-code file by using a slicing software called Cura. We can also use other slicing software like Slicer. We then set the required setting like the filament, uh, required temperature, infill, bed adhesion support if required. Uh, we generally use PLA and PG filaments here to make a hand. We then transfer the generated deco file to the SD card, which is ready to print on the printer. After transferring the generated deco file to the SD card, um, the next step would be printing. Uh, we have five 3D printers in the Nepal, two Prusa MK3, two Creality Ender, and one Creality 10S. Printing is quite easy. However, what challenges us is troubleshooting the printers at times thanks to the worldwide volunteer from enable who are quite accessible through facebook groups and enable hub where we got help when required um, then the different parts of the hand will be ready for the assembly we can also find step-by-step -step guidelines on assembling the hand in building the future website these parts these printed parts of the hand is then assembled to make a functional hand. The process of assembling the hand includes thermoforming the arm and cuff. The most challenging step in assembling first is thermoforming the arm and cuff, as it depends upon the type of filament we use, and sometimes it creates problems and we have to reprint the parts and repeat the process. Other steps include spinning up, stringing the hand, attaching padding in the cuff and arm, adding elastic band to joint finger, phalanx and palm, adding Velcro, and finally finishing the arm or hand. Distributing the hand is the most satisfying step of making a hand. Total hand making process takes around approximately three to four, four, four days if printing goes well. These are the pictures of our recipient after receiving the hand. Yeah, here are some more pictures of our recipient. Uh, some more pictures. The smile in your face is our reward, actually. Uh, these hands are not only making these kids independent, but also giving hope and inspiration to do better in their life. They are much more confident after receiving the hand. Um, I'm really thankful for this amazing movement of Enable in the future. It's, it's, it's great to be a part of this amazing community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know if uh, anyone has some question. Every time I hear a chapter tell its story, I'm astounded and gratified. Um, it, it, it Enable Nepal popped up unexpectedly in my world um, out of nowhere. Um, I've corresponded with Shiksha um, for years, but I've never seen her face to face. And the work of her chapter um, and her use of all of the materials that other chapters have produced um, is really a good example of how this network um, grows and interacts, even though, frankly, we're fairly ignorant about each other's activities. I saw Pierre had, had a question to John in regard to how you, you spread like the, the, the updates, in fact. Can you, can you say a word about that? Uh, these days, and this has been difficult, uh, there is one right place to go for the latest designs, and that is the Enable Hub 
at hub.e-nable.org. Um, in the picture I showed you of the kinetic hand, you see that the devices are listed. You can see when it was updated. We have ratings of maturity, cost of materials, popularity, difficulty, and grip strength. And when changes occur, they are announced there. Meanwhile, however, the truth is there are variations and copies all over the place, including Thingiverse and GitHub and you imagine and all of these other websites. And um, those are often specialized customizations or souvenirs. And it's actually a challenge to uh, weed out obsolete models. 